Hello friends, so our today's question is Roman to integer. So basically Roman is a way of representing integer numbers. So what we are given, uh, Roman numbers are represented by uh, symbols. So that are I, V, X, L, C, D and M. Okay, so these symbols have some value respectively. Okay, so what, how, uh, how we represent an integer in Roman number like 2 is represented and written as I, I. And in the same way 12 is written as x i i where x is 10 and i i is 1 so we are having 2 i okay so there are some rules which are also included in this roman uh, representation which is that i can be placed before v and x so that makes 4 and 9 okay in the same way x can be placed before l and c to make it 40 and 90 and same way c can be placed uh, before d and m to make them 400 and uh, 900 okay so like these character these character like i can i, I place before v make uh, make subtract v, i from v and i is placed after v add uh, v in uh, add i into v okay so like i v is 4 and v i is 6 where v is 5 and i is 1 so in this way uh, like uh, the formation of these i uh, or i or uh, like x or c uh, forms different pattern uh, like uh, 4 and 9 14 90 400 900 in the same way 600 and uh, this okay so what we are given we are given a roman number uh, we need to convert it into integer okay so like uh, first of all we look at the example so triple i is given so i will be need, we know that i is one so one 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 is three okay in the same way l v i i i so l is 50 v is 5 and triple i is 3 so this gets sums into 58 in the same way for this example m c m x c i b so where m is 1000 and c m like uh, this is the case like c can be placed before m to form 900 so we have taken c m together to form 900 okay so it form 900 then in the same way x c form 90 and i b form 4 so the sum total of this is 1994 okay so like uh, what we can have here first of all the solution approach which we can use here is like we can use map here why map we will map these symbols with a particular value okay now in case like looking for this example mc mx CIV, okay m c m x m c m x c i v okay c i v okay so now what we can do here is like we can have a map map of these things okay like let's just copy and paste them here okay so we are having uh, so we are having map of these okay so what we will do if we are finding a value currently we will start iterating this string from here and we will iterate up till end now we will find we will find if the current uh, uh, the current character which is pointed by i is smaller than the next character or it is greater than the next character if it is a smaller like in this case it is uh, if it is a smaller like uh, i v so in this case what we are doing i is smaller than the v okay so v in this case we know that i is subtracted from v okay so it forms into 4 and but in the same way if it is v i and so it forms into 6 so if a smaller value is placed before the larger value then we need to subtract it and if the small value is placed after the large value then we need to add it so we can have a variable called sum that will have uh, that will uh, that in that we will uh, calculate the sum so okay so in this case we will add it like m is great uh, greater or less than c so m is greater than so we will add 1000 to it okay now we will move to next index so c c is greater than uh, or smaller than m so it is a smaller than m okay so we have encountered a smaller character then it's the next one so what we will do we will subtract the value of c from the current sum okay so sum will be 900 okay so it will be 900 then again we will move to m so m is the greatest okay so we will add 1000 to it okay so it will form now current sum will uh, current sum will be Oh, sorry current sum will be 1900 okay so current sum is 1900 
in the same way we will move to x now x is smaller than c so what we will do we will subtract the value of x from the current sum so it will be 1 8 9 and 0 now we will move to c so c is greater than its next one so we will add this into our current solution 1 9 9 0 okay now i i i is smaller than the next character so we will subtract it from uh, current solution so it will be 1 9 8 9 now we have v v v is this, uh, v is like smaller if v is uh, la, like la, uh, v is the last element so we will add this into our sum so v value is 5 so we will add 1 9 9 4 so this is what is our required solution okay okay so now we'll look towards its implementation so first of all we will have our map here So yes, we are having our map here. Then uh, we will have a variable in which we will store the sum of the Roman. Uh, then we will iterate from beginning to end. Int i is equals to zero. I is less than s dot l e n g t h length i plus plus. Now we will check if mapping of s of i is smaller than mapping mapping of s of i plus 1 in this case what we will do we will subtract as it is smaller so we will subtract mapping of current from the sum okay and in else case we what we will do sum we will add to current sum if it is greater than the uh, next one okay s of i so we will uh, now we will return we will return sum now we can run the solution yeah it's accepted now we can submit So yes, it is submitted successfully. So like what is the time complexity for this as we are iterating this whole string one time. So like uh, capital O of N where N is the length of this string. Okay, so this is the time complexity. So thank you for watching.